Hello gorgeous. My name is Dusty and this is the Scorpio Priestess. If you would like a personal reading, you can do that by visiting ScorpioPriestess.com. If you would like to enter to win a half hour FaceTime reading, you can do that by liking, subscribing, and commenting. Blessing. Well, Scorpio Dorpy, I hope you're doing well and fab and high. We have officially made it to 17,000 subs here on YouTube and we are over 100,000 on TikTok. And I'd like to thank all of you. Thank you so much for a beautiful and blessed two years. It's been my pleasure reading for you all. And I hope that I help you just a tiny bit move through whatever you're going through or see life through a different lens. I just want to thank you all for all of your love and support. I will be going live tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard, no, I'm sorry, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here on YouTube. And then if you can't catch me tonight, I will be live next, uh, live on Thursday um, on my TikTok. So, I will be doing $10 readings. If you have a question, pay, PayPal or Cash App is necessary. Opportunities. A stranger is about to change your life. Exciting times of plenty of action plus a special family reunion. Declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of correspondence, objects, and people that no longer serve you. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side to them that you may want to avoid. Some of you need to declutter your life from these people that are constantly letting you down or constantly showing you who they are, Scorpio. People will show us who they are almost immediately. It's up to us to believe them. You may have some clutter you need to uh, get to. We can all let our lives get that way sometimes, but it's best for your mental health. It's best energetically that you let go of the things that are no longer serving you. If you've been through a breakup, you want to make sure you let go of text messages, emails, um, anything that you have of this person. You still could have a energy exchange with them. If you have moved, don't move. Um, a bunch of junk and stuff that you don't even use to your new home with you. Make sure you are decluttering everything out of your life because there's a powerful inner transformation happening. Release of energy and emotions happening. Leave old flames and embrace the new playing with fire. There's somebody that is like playing with fire for you. There's somebody that um, messes with your mental health. You're being called to burn away this person, burn away the past, and move forward. A partnership to complete a goal. Someone will come to your aid, expanding your network and delegating tasks. Um, you may actually meet someone that's going to be very life-changing or help you believe in love again. Open up your heart chakra. Some of you have a brand new job opportunity coming in over the next few months. Your health is changing. You may be changing your nutrition, changing your workout. You may be on a weight loss journey such as myself. And I will tell you that at first, it seemed easy. I was just losing weight, losing weight. And now I have that last 15 to get off and it has been really hard. I've had to change a lot about what I was even doing initially to get off the weight. Some of you may be like me and you maybe have plateaued on your weight loss journey. The divine asking you to change your nutrition some of you may have gained some weight or your health may be bad because you're not eating properly, you're not taking care of yourself, and you really want to make sure, Scorpio, if that resonates with you, that you um, get your butt in gear here. A lot of you, you have a really beautiful work-life balance coming. If you've been working a lot, you're going to be able to balance that out. If you haven't been working at all, you're going to be able to start working and it will be a really nice blend for you. Not too much work or too much play is what you're being called to focus on right now. What is this playing with fire, please? Some of you, there is a feminine energy around you that is off. This person's overly emotional. 
There could be a third party involved. Some of you, your lover's mother does not like you. You disagree all the time. It's like constant fighting and arguing with this person. An Aquarius, a Sagittarius, a Libra or a Taurus could be important to you. Some of you, there is a um, karmic involved that is dangerous. They are, they hate you, they're out to get you, and this person is not someone you want to play around with. They, they are someone that um, you need to purge out of your life. If you are in the middle of a third party situation, the divine asking you to see this clearly and purge this out of your life, Scorpio. There's somebody in your life that's like playing with fire. Um, it's bad for your mental health or their other person is dangerous. Their family could be dangerous. There's something about this whole situation that is just not serving you anymore. And it's time to let go. Some of you are working for a employer that's really emotionally manipulating. This person is always um, manipulating people to get what they want. And you may need to um, start looking for another job because it could be dangerous to be working for this person for whatever reason. Attracting, not chasing, uh, amen, spirit, and let go of guilt. When you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you have done and not done and trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Do you hear me, Scorpio? Trust that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself with them. Amen. Some of you are hanging on to something that you have done or maybe a chapter in your life that you weren't at your best or you made a lot of mistakes. And I'm here to tell you that sometimes our soul guides us to make mistakes and to, to do certain things because pain and failure and mistakes are the only way as humans we learn. And so a lot of you, you have got to know that everything that happened in your past there's no need to berate yourself. You haven't been sinning. It, society makes us believe that we are, um, you know, sinners if we do certain things. It's just another way for the man to keep us in line. God loves you unconditionally, Scorpio. It's time to let go of guilt, sadness, resentment up from the past, and just be free of it all. You can decide to do that. You are the one that gets to decide what you think about. Your thoughts are not controlling you. You control your thoughts. So if you're having really low, bad thoughts about yourself, you've got to actively remind yourself that you are a child of God and you are just here learning and experiencing life. Anything or anyone you chase after will run away because of the fears and underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude, and welcoming energy. Anything you run, anything you chase will run. Money, love, whatever. If you are constantly, when's it going to come? Where is it? Why am I not? I'm never going to get it. It's never going to come. Or trying to force someone to want what you want or force someone to love you, Scorpio. You're just going to keep pushing that energetically away and physically away. A lot of you are being asked now to um, attract and not chase. That is the life that I live. I, I live in the flow and I let opportunities come to me. And the more I raise my vibration, the better I feel, the happier I am, the more love I, I shine on the world and let go of the past the more opportunities that come pouring into my life. A lot of you, you, you haven't ever experienced being in the flow, so it's hard for you to, to understand how beneficial it will be if you could get in the present moment, let go of the past, and just, just love and live and enjoy your life. 
you will see you would be able to see exactly what I'm trying to tell you here every day moving over to love tell me what is it that you want Scorpio to know about their love life manipulation scheming controlling bad influences completions new worlds are opening up rewards after hard lessons and a tricky situation hard to figure out there's somebody that was very manipulative there's someone that could be manipulating you now this person's always scheming they're a bad influence on you you could get to drinking and partying when they're around you could get really lazy and unmotivated um, get locked in that ruminating thought process when they come back Back into your life that slows you down from pursuing your goals a lot of you it's a very tricky situation um, but there's completions there's closures and new worlds are trying to open up for you some of you you have physically removed yourself or they removed their self physically from you but energetically you're still living in the past and living in the what if what if this happens? What if that happens? What if this would have happened? What if I would have said that? And um, it's time to let it go. You're going to receive a lot of rewards for being able to let this person go. Tell me about the person on Scorpio's mind. Tell me about the person on Scorpio's mind, please. This seems to be someone who parties a lot. It looks like they've cut you off out of fear, out of insecurity. There's information still to be revealed. This person feels pressured. They feel like it, um, your relationship requires immediate attention because if they don't do something fast, you're going to be uh, down the road. They seem to understand this. By this first eclipse we're having in September, and we will be doing the September reading tomorrow, um, by this first eclipse on the 17th, there's something that could happen with this person. They seem to sense that you're losing patience or you're starting to get ready to clear this person away. Some of you have been screaming at this person to love you right, to stop neglecting you, to stop treating you badly, stop lying because you're leaving, you're leaving, you're leaving, you've threatened to leave, you have left many times. This person's just someone that's used to lying and manipulating to get what they want. You know, think of it, think of a training a dog. When someone learns that by manipulating and lying, they get rewarded, what starts to happen is by the time they're 30, 40, they've they've gotten so many things by lying and manipulating that they just it's automatic for them it's like automatic for them to um lie and scheme and manipulate because they've been rewarded for it their whole life karmic ties i know i need to release attachments with karmic people i'm creating a plan to leave him or her this person could actually be going for a divorce or trying to clear away a karmic for some of you some of you that this person's in a long-term relationship or in a marriage with someone else they could be going through a divorce really soon one of us is sad or angry and it's creating an energetic match in the frequency Stay conscious of this, and if possible, try to help each other elevate. Separated or together, we work in tandem. This person can feel your energy, and you can feel theirs. And that's why I guess I was being given the message about letting go of correspondence, letting go of uh, you know their old hoodie that they left at your house, letting go of their stuff energetically um, for those that are ready to move forward and let these new worlds open for you. Um, it's important that you try to cut any energy cord that you have to this person. You may want to try a cord cutting. You can find it on my website. Why are they fearful? They seem to be fearful and insecure a lot. Double moon, the moon, clarifying the moon. This person has pulled back their energy 
they could be giving you the silent treatment right now. They could have ended this relationship with you and totally went cold. This person could be ghost all the way, all the way from you. Some of you, this person scared that they're going to go to jail. They're scared that a third party is going to call the cops on them. They're scared you're going to call the police on them. They seem to have fear of 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 healing, fear of recovering. They could have an addiction. But most of all, this person's fearful to be actually loved and to give up all of their other options. This could be a 65-year-old man, 75-year-old man, and they may not be being intimate um, sexually with these women or men, but they like the attention and the validation that they get. They're fearful to just fully give their self to you or anyone for that matter. They've always got to keep options. Again, this person's been rewarded their whole life for whatever they're doing right now. They party a lot. This is a party. This is a person that's like the pie damn piper. Everyone lo loves them. They have some persona they, they like to keep. Someone here could have really brown, uh, real deep brown eyes, very dark hair. Someone's first name could begin with a V. Cancerian energy here, Pisces energy. There could have been a lot of arguing and fighting between the two of you lately. Um, it looks like there's some tension here or tension to come. Remember, there's somebody that's going to reveal something to you that you may not like. Some of you, it may be this person. They seem to be very apathetic and aloof. It's because they're so wounded and they're fearful that if they don't change or they don't make a move towards you, that you're going to move on once and for all. Tell me about the Grim Reaper, please. Something could happen around your, your birthday, Scorp. This person seems to be going through some kind of breakup with a third party. There's too many people involved, though, outside your relationship, outside another lover. There's a, there's friends, a cousin, a daughter, a, a, a son. There, there's all sorts of things that are always going on around this person. And um, they, they feel like your relationship requires immediate attention. But what keeps happening is all sorts of other things are happening around them and that's the divine trying to stop them from coming in um, because they're not ready they're still fearful they're still um, manipulating scheming this person could be um, going through a bit of a transformation their self whatever they're doing to uh, try to break away from this third party. They don't seem to be doing it right, though. They're not doing it, you know, we are allowed to leave a relationship whenever we want. We do not have to stay. If we are no, if we are no longer happy, we are allowed to leave with love and light. <clears throat> it's not a prison sentence. Relationships should be equal give and take. And this person no longer wants to be in a relationship with this third party, but they're too cowardly to go and, and, and speak the truth. So they're trying to scheme some plan here to, to break away. And it looks to me like it's because this third party could pay for a lot of things. They could have a lot of financial soul ties. This person seems to be trying to get new money to flow in before they break free of this third party. They do have some kind of opportunity coming in. They could be getting a brand new job. They may have just recently, over the last month, got a new job. This is a person who is afraid to speak to you. They're afraid to um, tell you how they feel. But you and this third party are face-to-face -face here, Scorp. There could be a face-off with this dangerous karmic. I, I don't know why I'm getting that message, but there is something about this, this third party that's dangerous. They may be like playing with fire. Maybe they are obsessed. Maybe they are 
someone that throws down. Maybe there's someone that would pop all the ti your tires. I was in a relationship once with, a, with someone that I love very deeply still to this day. We're close friends. But his ex was so crazy. She keyed whore on my car so big and my kids were both very little at the time and I would have I had to for three days I had to go around in the little pickup circle at school with whore huge on my car oh my god I'll never forget that she was crazy she turned his kids against me she she was not she would call me in the middle of the night and ramble and tell me I was sleeping in her house and her bed they had been separated for months before I met him, but she blamed me for this, you know, she was dangerous, Scorpio. She, she would do all sorts of things, and in and, and the end, she won because I ended up having to walk away. I couldn't, I couldn't handle it anymore. Some of you are dealing with the same situation, or if this person tries to leave the third party to come be with you, you're going to see what I'm saying. This karmic is going to go nuts. Do all sorts of things, the very most here to you all, to try to make sure this relationship doesn't prosper. And I feel they're saying those kind of things too. Like, you'll never be happy. I'll never allow you to be happy with Scorpio kind of thing. This person seems to be getting ready to scheme some plan to break away. I wish you all the very best. Make sure if, if these people are dangerous and there's physical violence or whatever, score, please protect yourself and think about walking free, moving forward here. You will have rewards. Those ready, those ready to let this go, to move on down the road, you will have rewards for your, for your lessons. It won't go unseen by the divine. You are a child of God. You are always being provided for every morning. God is my provider. The universe is always providing for me. I am always being provided for. Say those affirmations daily if you are having trouble with money. Love and light.